Our final RBC presenter is Kai Wu, who was an enterprise risk analyst in the Global Risk Management Division. Please welcome Kai Wu on stage. Hi, everyone. I'm Kai Liu Wu. Uh, it's my great honor to be here to share my experience in RBC as an enterprise market risk analyst. So the first project I'm going to share is called the PE Check. So PE stands for the production engine. So it's actually a PE add-on tool which goes to identify the data quality issue uh, and material day over day, week over week, var stress for stress movement by building a side-by-side -side risk change tables. And by looking at the data flow, you can see that our checker comes in after the PE add-on generation is complete. And our checker makes sure that there's no data quality issue before we pushing all the data to Adam, which is largest risk platform in GRM. So speaking of the insights about this project, so the automated schedule run greatly improved the operational efficiency by receiving the immediate feedbacks from emails. Here I attached several screenshots to show like what does this PE check looks, looks like. And on the last column, you can see that there's a comment of saying either exposure dropped or exposure added to draw people's attention. And if everything's good, then the PE check table is just empty, so saying that everything's good. And the next project I'm going to share is called the GMRM and Murex Recon. So it's actually the preparation for onboarding the master query sensitivity, also known as Felix, to GMRM to risk mod project. The goal of this project is to identify the potential PVO1 discrepancies between the Felix and the GMRM for the risk derivative business. Um, so to further explain, so the GMRM or Adam is a risk, uh, the platform that the risk team use, and the Felix and Murex is actually the uh, platform that the capital markets team use. So from the data flow, you can see that actually we require two types of data. One is Murex data and the other is GMRM data. And from G, uh, we can grab the Murex data from the Felix output query from Dremel via Python, while the GMRM data, we can get it directly from Adam via Python. After we grabbing those two types of data in hand, then we can form a pivot table by their book level to see if there's a large difference in GMRM and Murex. And if we can uh, believe that there's a large difference, then we can go deep dive into the position level check to find the root cause of those discrepancies. And normally there will be two uh, main cause for that. And uh, the first one would be there's a data quality issue either on GMRM side or on Murex side. And the other potential cause will be um, there's a model difference between GMRM and the Murex. And if that is the case, then we can move this issue forward to the GRA team to look further into the model to see if we can improve the model, uh, improve the model performance. And I think that is the end of my presentation. Thanks everyone for listening and I welcome every qu any questions you may have. Thank you. Thank you. His uh, supervisor at RBC was uh, Jianming Chen, who was not able to be with us today, but sent some comments, and I quote, Leo has brought robust risk-related analytical and technical skills to his role. The Python-based analytical tool he developed has significantly optimized our workflow, resulting in notable time savings compared to our previous processes. Throughout his tenure, Leo has demonstrated exceptional interpersonal skills, fostering a strong relationship with the team and beyond. His consistently positive attitude, coupled with his energetic demeanor, inspired others around him. That's very impressive. Congratulations for those, for those comments. <clears throat> and now for the Q&A, if you have a question, please use the raise hand button in the reactions tab. Turn on your camera and unmute your mic will bring you on stage to ask your question. <clears throat> you can also type your question into the chat and Michael will read it for us. My question to you is, um, except for the projects that you worked on, what is the most significant achievement you gained from your internship? Thanks, Professor Lewis, for uh, this question. Um, so yeah, it, it was great honor to work in the team and uh, help the team with some projects and some ad hoc tasks. However, except for that, 
Uh, I think the most uh, valuable experience for me is the invaluable business insight I got, uh, like uh, what risk threshold should we set for different financial derivatives and products and at the enterprise level as a whole. Also, um, I, I built a great uh, connections with different teams, like including the like local market risk team, uh, the capital markets team, and also the GAN team. So that, that are the uh, two main uh, valuable experience I gained from this uh, internship. Thank you. Fantastic. Wonderful. Congratulations.